For more on this and what's happening in the city, we're joined by John Rigardi of LA Magazine. John, good to see you. Thank you, Alex. All right, handicap this race for us. Uh, who's expected to win? Where are things at? You know, I think if so much of this actually depends on who can turn out their vote. I know it's not necessarily the answer you want, but in the primary election, there were only 13,000 votes cast. That's just 11%. And it's not expected to be much higher this time. So really, it could become, it could come down to whether Amelda Padilla or Marissa Alcarez, which one can get more of their people out to the polls, or even more important than that, which ones have gotten their people to send in those mail-in ballots because the majority of the votes will be mail-in ballots. Well, you think about that story initially about Nuri Martinez and the leaked racist audio, how much attention that got, how focused people were on that, and yet it didn't seem to necessarily motivate them to actually vote in the election. Let's hope more people get involved uh, tomorrow. Um, so let's talk about the, the city more broadly. Uh, we know that current price who is a member of the city council facing some corruption allegations. What's next for him? Where are things at in terms of his future? Because he says, I'm not guilty and I want to stay on the, on the council. I think, Alex, we've seen something incredibly fascinating, a very quick changing of the narrative. When this story first broke, everyone was like, oh my gosh, fourth council member in four years to face charges. What's going on? How did this happen to current price? But now a couple weeks later, people have said, hey, let's actually slow down. Let's look at specifically what these charges are. And everyone acknowledges that mistakes were made, but these 10 counts of embezzlement, um, you know, conflict of interest, perjury, some people are saying, you know, maybe they were mistakes. Mistakes, but are these something that should destroy someone's career? Uh, sh should someone go to prison? There was a very important council committee meeting on Friday, uh, the rules committee, in which the members elected not to make a decision at the time on whether to suspend current price. This means that they will not resume that discussion for two months. So for right now, current price, he may not be that visible, but he will continue to be on the council and he could cast votes. And he gets paid for all that time as well, right? Uh, Absolutely. So, so Whatever the deal is with the specifics of his case, it is clear that there are some systemic challenges for the L.A. City Council. When you look at all of the members that are facing uh, potential corruption charges, including three of them uh, sentenced to spend time behind bars, is there any talk of any real structural reform that would clean up City Hall? And is it even possible for these city council members to police themselves? There's a lot of talk, and let's see if there is actually action. There has been a long time discussion of essentially expanding the city council. We forget, but Los Angeles council members each represent 260,000 people. If this was a city, they would, yeah, that would be one of the 85 biggest cities in the United States. So there's a belief that you can dilute some of that power by having more people on the council. That requires a change of the city charter. Um, also tied into that is this significant look at redistricting reform. Of course, Nuri Martinez, the whole scandal evolved from a discussion over redistricting. That's the boundary drawing that happens every 10 years, and it's not been nearly as independent as it should be. So we do have entities within government and without government both looking at trying to, uh, you know, have these charter changes, which could lead to an independent redistricting process and ex potentially expanding the council. Although there's a lot of folks who will say expanding the council, having more bureaucrats in place and even more people is not necessarily the answer, but uh, that will be a debate for another day. John Rigardi, thanks for your excellent reporting on this. Always great to talk with you. Thank you, Alex.